What's good, y'all? Back to another quick origin video. In this video, we'll be talking about the origin of the Rhino. So if you're new to this, I'd be sure to take the best parts of each character's origin and summarize it. It's what I think y'all should know about each character's origin in these types of videos. And if you're a returning viewer slash subscriber, you already know how it is with these types of videos. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos in the future that I'll be coming out with. And also, if you want to support me on my other social media, such as my Instagram, my Instagram, my game joke, I'll be sure to leave those in the down description box below. And finally, if you got any character origin recommendations that involves Batman, Spider-Man, or you need any tips and tricks for video games involved in my channel, be sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I'll make a video on that. And let's get started. All right, so his first appearance is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 41, 1966. His height is six foot five without the suit, but with the suit, he's seven foot five, and he weighs 710 pounds. So correct me if I'm wrong about the pronunciation of his last name, but I can get the first name. So Alexei Mikhailovich, Mikhailovich, I think I think that's how it's pronounced. Okay, the Rhino was part of the Russian mafia as an enforcer until he accepted being experimented on. He went through months of gamma ray and chemical treatments to increase his strength, while also having his body fused with mole molecular adhesive that helped form the Rhino suit. Soon enough, Rhino didn't need the men that gave him his powers, so he went solo and he was tasked to capture jo John Jameson, J. Jonah Jameson's son, for his first mission. But... He was interrupted by Spider-Man and their battle was long until Spider-Man used Rhino's momentum against him to defeat him. For the first time. The end. Just kidding. The Rhino quickly broke, broke out of custody to continue his first mission of capturing John Jameson and fought Spider-Man again. So to find another way to defeat the Rhino, Spider-Man took a sample of the Rhino's suit and had help from Con Do ugh, Kirk Connors with analyzing it. This created a new form of webbing fused with the substance that breaks down the rhino suit during the final battle. As soon as the suit was weakened enough, Spider-Man landed the last punch to defeat the rhino, and that was it for his for his origin. So, fun facts was he was known as a villain of Spider-Man and the Hulk back in the day. He turned himself in, and Shield helped take the rhino suit off of him. He married a waitress named o Oksana uh, Saitstevich, but unfortunately, she was killed by another criminal that took the name of the rhino. And this actually made the original Rhino get back to his his uh, villainous ways, just based off of his wife getting killed by this Rhino, and he actually killed that that uh, that. How should I say this? Uh, that cheap knockoff of Rhino, because we all know who the original Rhino is. And this doesn't have to be a fun fact, but I'm gonna make it a fun fact. So he was also one of the original members of the Sinister Six, and he is one actually one of the most well known members of the Sinister Six. From other forms of media, like you know, you remember the show Spectacular Spider Man. So, the last fun fact is he can run up to around 95 miles per hour, but hard for him to change direction when he's at top speed. And for his abilities, he has super strength, enhanced durability, sharp horn, enhanced stamina, and he can withstand extreme heat. For his main weakness, he's not really that intelligent and he's, he doesn't have that much self awareness, which gives Spider Man the advantage to defeat him. And actually, others to defeat him too, since basically he just he's literally just a brute, and that's all there is about the Rhino. So this is gonna be it for this video. If you like what I say, you learn something new, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. If there's anything in the future that I'll be coming out with, if you wanna uh, want me to go over anything that involves Spider-Man, Batman, or games involved in my channel, be sure to leave that down in the comment section below. And if you wanna support me on other social media, such as my Instagram, my game joint, my itch.io, I'll leave that in the description box below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.